and gentlemen, hello and welcome along to a very special mini-series from LandPowerTV.com where we will be taking a deep dive and a big exploration into the brand new development from uh, Class, which is its new Zarian tractor series, the new 12 series which we saw at uh, Agritechnica. So to do that, we are going to split this series up into probably about three parts. So the first part we're going to film here at uh, Class's uh, Paderborn plant in Germany where it builds a lot of key components such as the brand new track systems for the Zerian and then in part two we're going to move on down the road to Harzwinkel and we are going to see the, uh, the new Zerian being built and learn more about its design and development and a little bit of history as well and then in part three we're going to head on back to the UK and we are going to get a first drive of this brand new tractor. But for now, like I say, we're going to kick off in Paderborn and I'm now joined by Mr. Sebastian Wagerman. Uh, Sebastian, first of all, just tell us your job title and what you do here. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. So, very welcome, James, here to our class Paderborn plant. So, my name is Sebastian Wagerman. I'm uh, within class since, ah, since almost 16 years and I'm responsible within this plant here for the R&D department of our TerraTrack uh, track systems. So also for the uh, track system we are newly integrated and developed for uh, the Xerion 12 series. So an absolute key component. Really? So yeah. here at Paderborn then, obviously, we're going to see the track systems, but what else do you do here at this plant? Yeah, yeah, so the uh, Paderborn plant is a, um, with a, a plant with a very long history. So we started around 1956 here at this, uh, this site um, and uh, as a production site, uh, uh, enlarged um, production from, from the Hasewinkel plant. And it evolved over the years to a plant with a, a, a lot of key competences, not only production, we have also engineering and testing facilities on this, on this site. And uh, at the moment, we have um, different departments here, uh, which deal with uh, a lot of uh, key components for all of our vi uh, vehicles we have in, in class machinery. For example, track systems, uh, that's why we are here. Yep. Um, but beside that, we have also uh, mobile transmissions, which is a very important thing, which is produced and uh, uh, developed here at the site. We have tractor transmissions on this side. We have hydraulic uh, valves and other components here on this side, uh, R&D and production. And uh, finally, for sure, a very important uh, thing here on the side is the, the um, uh, drive and steering axles for, for uh, self-propelled harvesters, which is also located here at this side. Okay. So quite a, a wide prof portfolio I was gonna say, and a huge amount of There's, there's uh, a lot components. going on. And yeah. we've already, already had a quick look around the production facility. And if you are a fan of engineering, seriously, stick around, because what they are doing here, I mean, you're doing all sorts here. But for now, what we'll do, we'll carry on with the track story, the Terra track story, and we'll move on over here and we'll have a look at various track systems that you offer. But first of all, we can't ignore this. Yeah. This, this track VC, what have we got here? We've got a 3300. For sure. So it's one of the very first uh, uh, machines built. And, but this is our grand lady uh, in tracks development as well so, so it's a if very we, special one if we move around the back all will be, be revealed because it looks quite normal from the front but then you get down here and this is i suppose you could call it a test mule is it for your track systems exactly. uh, and currently it's got the combine tracks system on it so what would you do with this this rig so it, it was a build up in the, in, in the late 2008 and the intention was really to, to do testing on track systems. Huh? So, but in total it was the first Xerion on tracks we also built, so it right. was both. Huh? <laughs> uh, so in this uh, it is a half track and also the, one of the first half track tractors class built. And, and the intention was really to, to test our uh, former new track system for the combines. Huh? Due to the, we, we searched for a modular approach to test track systems mm. and uh, we decided to take Xerion because of its capability um, of high traction and also high speed and uh, by having a, a kind of a, uh, of a loading area uh, in the back we can balance it with different uh, things and so we have an ideal platform for track so testing. So it's a really versatile test rig you might yeah. say. Yeah. You can it put is. all different kinds of track systems on, different ballasts, 
different scenarios. So we started with this track system, but we can also put others on. And uh, yeah, as I said, it's an old lady, uh, but still sometimes today we use this for testing. You still yeah. use this today? We, sometimes we right. still use it, yeah. And so. what would you, so, uh, would you take it out of the field? Would you take it out on, you mentioned that uh, you take it out on the runway as well, do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So it, it's, it's both, sometimes in the field, but the major purpose is to, to go really on a runway to do some, some speed testing. So this is able to go 50 kph, really to test, to do a very high speed testing and, and right. uh, to secure a quality of components or of new concepts. Yeah. Uh, so we use this kind of, uh, well, this vehicle since really, since many years. Uh, That's uh, it. There's a lot of components going on there. So just talk us through. I mean, while we're beside the old girl, yeah. Just talk us through your history of tracks because mm -hmm. it does go back a long way, and I believe it was yeah. a pet project of the main man himself, Mr. Helmut Class. Yeah, yeah. So the Terra tracks for sure are. Uh, uh, also a baby of Helmut Klaas. Uh, he was always very interested uh, in track systems and he pushed the, uh, the development uh, forward and, and uh, also until his, uh, until his 90th birth, uh, birthday and, and also far beyond that, uh, he was interested and he asked regularly for, for an update on our track yeah. development. Huh? And Come on guys, where are we up to? <laughs> exactly, so it was uh, very inspiring for, for all of us to be really, really pushed by our, uh, by our uh, uh, senior uh, boss to uh, yeah, work on our tracks. And stuff. Absolutely. So and this very great. And this one here, uh, as we started with this vehicle, it's our uh, third generation track system, we call it. Um, with a fully integrated suspension. That's how we started with this vehicle. No? And uh, we, this was also the, the uh, start of going higher speeds with track systems. Right. Because no? there will be, I imagine, there's been a lot of evolution in these tracks over the years and they'll have changed quite a bit. Yeah. You'll have learnt and learnt and learnt. For sure. We, we started about yeah, 35 years ago uh, with our first activities. On, 35? On, yeah. In the, in the beginning, was, it was uh, several activities, also together with uh, uh, the Caterpillar company. There was an, a joint venture in place mm. and we learned a lot uh, working together with those guys. And in the beginning of the 2000 years, we, we started um, yeah, designing uh, and developing this on our own completely um, without any assistance of Caterpillar. And so we moved on within several generations until to this version, generation three in 2009, it was the SOP of this. That's it. And this is the one, I suppose you could say, this is the famous one, is it? This is the one we all know off the combines and now the foragers as well. Exactly. This so this is the track layout. What we see say. here is a very early stage of it. Uh, you see, it's not not looking that nice anymore. No cover on and so yeah. on. But it's one of the first uh, uh, R&D samples. But in general, the the, um, the concept the is concept is still was the there. Yeah. yeah. And we took the same concept due to its uh, yeah really great um, performance and tried to apply it in the late. Uh, uh, time of 2016, 2017, uh -huh. 2016 to the Axion tractor. So this moves yeah. us on nicely. This yeah, is exactly. This so is this is for the Axion tractors. This the TTs. This is a TT for the uh, for the Axion 900.